It layering. is quite a sheer uh, blouse, so many people, I think, will feel more comfortable if they've got a little camisole or vest underneath. Absolutely. So I've actually popped it on. I'll just show you here. I popped mine on. I've got the, the blue coloured one. Yes. I think we're calling that storm blue um, vest underneath. And it's a really lovely texture, very, very soft, and it's got a lovely wide strap. Yes. So and if you get two as well. You do get two, which is brilliant. So we've got an amazing array of colours. So first up, we have, I think that's the black and the cloud colour. So essentially sort your, of, that's your monochrome. That's a wardrobe essential, isn't yes. it? Everyone's going to be wearing those at some point through you know. I think I saw I mean years ago I actually was always saying at the start of every season black and white lots more I shouldn't really uh, distract you so canyon, canyon rose. rose there we go and the soft pink the shell pink really beautiful beautiful they are nice aren't they then we've got the plumberry and the sand that really is such beautiful a great color. love those shades then we've got the fern and the sea mist grey. Again, gorgeous combination. Oh, I like the fern. Yeah, the fern's beautiful. Both, you actually. would, yeah, I could yeah. see you wearing this actually. Then moving on, we've got this beautiful combination yet again. This is the navy and the sand, I think it's, that it's is. It's quite a petroly navy. It's oh, there we go. Icy blue and almond. So there we go. Nice. It's taste. not really icy blue, is it? But never mind. No, it will maybe a frosty blue. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then me, moving on, we've got so the peach and the faded blue, those are beautiful for those neutrals this summer. Yeah, great with and then latte and sand to finish off. Again, neutral. So sweet. very, those actually you should really look together because you can just see the latte is a little bit darker, more of a chocolatey shade. I wonder if you could, could you put one over the other? Yes. And have it just sort of like the, the contrast colour or the, the toning colour coming through underneath. Abs uh, oh, 100%. And could you wear them on their, themselves? They're, they're opaque enough, aren't they? They, they are definitely opaque enough. And actually, because of the design of them, they are extremely flattering. So, you know, when we do get a bit hotter, you can layer up and have this, and it actually looks like a very high-end, finished-looking vest. And the V-neck makes it look like a yeah. top rather than a vest, doesn't it? Well, you've got the finishing, the stitching around the side, which is very... Actually, just seeing it on there, you've got the high back, which is great. So a lot of people say to me, I want a higher back on my vest, which if, is important. If the back's as low as the front, that often means I don't buy it. Yeah. I don't, I, I don't like that. Completely. Um, and you're not yes. alone in that. A lot of people will say that. So a nice high back, but then that subtle V-neck is actually very feminine. And, you know, it's actually quite, you know, for want of a better word, it's actually quite sexy in a very kind of laid back, easy way. So really beautiful. And again, you've got so many colours to choose from. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you're getting the two. So it comes in at about £21 each one. Uh, the sizes are on your screen right now. 185 536 is your item uh, number. Go with your regular size, but you can see go, you know, the chest measurement is what you're, you're looking at. If it's longer than you want, although actually sometimes a vest coming out Un longer than the top that you've got on top of it looks quite looks nice great. yeah but it's fine enough it's a viscose uh, jersey and a fine viscose jersey completely opaque but light enough to tuck in without bulk so it's an incredibly useful vest yeah so i've got it tucked in today in my trousers actually um but again i think it's so important to get a good quality vest because yes. it's all about the foundations and, of your outfit and if you feel a bit hot and you want to take the top layer off you need to know that the vest is actually suitable for uh, public viewing yes. <laughs> and this one definitely is i hate it when i've got a jumper on with a vest underneath and i'm thinking i can't take the jumper yeah. off because <laughs> I'm sweltering, but I just know that it's I can't like a, show It's like a slightly yeah. greying yeah. vest, like I can't exactly. be seen. Can't be it's seen. really important <laughs> to have nice vests. Yeah. <laughs> okay, really now the important. trousers. I'm loving wearing these. So these are the ones you've got on, yeah. and I have to say they look fantastic on. And again, it is, we've talked about this so many times, this time of year, people start going, I want a white trouser, a white jean, and they're really hard to come by of they good are. quality. Yeah. These ones are fabulous. They look very flattering. They're not too tight, which I think is a sort of paramount to white trousers. They look very, very chic as well. Um, they come with pockets, which I think is fabulous, but they're not pockets that are adding any bulk around the hips or the, the waist. You've got this slightly wider waistband, which is nice and smoothing across the tummy. No pockets on the back, so no distraction there, no adding any bulk on the back either. And again, you've got the crop look, which is huge news for this season. These have been very popular. And in fact, we used to have two bright colours, yeah. a lime and a blue, but they've both sold out. 
Uh, but that's really good because what we've been left with are the basics. And if you like the look of these, I would say get them in black and in white. Yeah. I'm not quite ready for white trousers yet, no. but I love the crop because it just, yeah. it gives a nod to the sunshine. It gives a nod to the fact that we're into April and we're heading towards summer. And it, you know, so black trousers that are full length could look a bit heavy and a bit Completely. dark and, and uh, you know, unspring-like. Yeah. But these, I'm not, I, that, I always think the same about black sandals. The first pair of sandals that I wear in the year is never white. Yeah. But black sandals make you feel summery, but you still yeah. don't look as though you're trying too hard. Yeah. And black, black crop trousers do the same for me because you're showing off that bit of ankle. But if, it does, turn, if it does turn chilly, which it still is at the yeah. moment, even when the sun's out, you know, it's only your ankle that gets the draft. So Absolutely. that's fine. You're fine. You can cope with that. Cope with that. <laughs> I actually was really shocked. I went out for a run the other day, started off beautiful, clear blue skies, cold, but it was beautiful. Halfway through, it started snowing. I know. I was like, well, we yesterday, were it snowed on and off all day. It was really, <laughs> you know, it was beautiful in the morning and then like the snow comes oh, What's in, going on? So. so that's why it's so important to have this kind of fashion yes. that still is transitional, yes. even when you're in the height of summer, because it's we just don't know what's going to be going on with the weather. Exactly. It's, just, it's the look, I think. Having a crop trouser, it just, you know, it, it, as you can see, 20, uh, 22 inches on the regular, 20, 20 inches on the, uh, on the petite. Uh, the rest of the trouser is the same around, you know, around the tummy. You've yeah. got this lovely wide waistband. Uh, uh, you've got the pockets as well, but yeah. as you say, they don't add bulk, but they, you know, they just give you, you could put something in them, but they're sort of more for look and yeah. you know, put your hands in put, them probably, yeah. but not much more. Uh, and as I say, you, the inseam measurement is 22 on the regular and 20 on the uh, petite. Uh, we're looking at the petite, which is 083, the regular is 082. So, um, you know, it, 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 because it's cropped anyway, yeah. it doesn't really matter. If, if you're tall and you want pedal pushers, go for the petite. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and just have a different look. Completely. You know, this is what we'll say with a lot of those ones. And actually, that cropped look, the 7 8 look, is so, such big news to the extent that a lot of influencers and editors are actually just cutting their own trousers to really? get that look now. Yeah. Or, or turning them up, I suppose. Is another, that, that gives you a more beachy look if yes. you've got the turn up, doesn't yes. it? And it only works on some fabrics, but obviously it's brilliant on denim or a cotton yeah. twirl or something like this. Completely. Um, the, they don't have a little split around the ankle, so you could turn these up. Yeah. Sometimes when you've got the split, it doesn't turn up properly, does yeah, it? If it you've got a little bit notch. bunched up completely. Yeah. But, uh, but these will turn up if you want to, you know, uh, if you want to split the difference sometimes, turn it up right, right all the way up, perhaps to actually, just below the knee. I'm just looking at the price. It is actually an amazing price. for. They look very high end and we've sort of styled them with the June sandals that look yes. amazing. It's a uh, viscose rich fabric yeah. on the trouser. So, uh, and I've just uh, I've just turned up to pedal, pedal pusher length as well, which uh, that, that works quite well. You can see a little bit of leg from a distance. A <laughs> okay, now let's uh, let's take a look at this dress. Yes. Absolutely beautiful, Helene Bourbon. We're so privileged to have uh, her as as a British designer bringing her clothes to us here at QVC. This is just gorgeous, and we're going to be talking about it in more detail in just a moment.